Good evening. Happy Fervent Friday. Welcome back to Moments with Mary. Today is a good day, as all days are good if you are fortunate to see them. My mother always told us not to rush the days by saying, I'll be glad when it's Friday, when Friday comes. When you do such, you are rushing your life away. So just live, just live life and enjoy it each day as it comes. So my continued gratitude is extended to all healthcare workers and caregivers taking care of us during these pandemic times. However, we must be cautious, very cautious, and take care of ourselves. And as we are being cautious, taking care of ourselves, we will help to take care of others. So as a teacher and educator, I've kept publications of students work from different units and projects that we studied. So on today, I'll share some pieces from students. For example, during my teaching times, we did writings on the local, state, and national level in conjunction with our local, state, and national writing project. So one year, we participated in writing for radio, and we had a student to be able to present her work on the radio. And that student wrote a piece about Greenville. And I'll share that piece with you. The young lady's name is Haley Spurlock. And Haley was one of our gifted students. And this is what she wrote, and we submitted it, and she won. She was able to read her work on radio. And it reads, why do they call it Greenville? Well, I really don't know. Is it because it is all green? Well, that is not so. The mosquitoes and heat can take its toll. But, you've, if, but if you've ever been here, it'll take your heart, maybe your soul. To almost everyone who lives here, Greenville is home. People always find their way back wherever they roam. And that was a piece she wrote for radio for National Writing Project. Haley Spurlock. Haven't seen Haley, so I wonder where she is. A very smart young lady. Also, during the summer, we would participate in other projects uh, and summer writing adventures. So I'll continue to share a piece or pieces from those um, projects. And one particular summer, we wrote about Mississippi. So I'll share a piece or two from uh, those students who wrote about Mississippi. Really, it was the, um, about the Mississippi River. And this is, a, this is a haiku. It says, pelicans fly over muddy waters. 
Elvis Presley lived along the river and ate peanut butter. Ithaca is where the Mississippi River begins. And another haiku, Awe, Awe is a very cold and lovely state. The Mississippi Steamboat is very long, tall, and beautiful. St. Louis is a town of the Rams football team. And that was written by Caleb. I believe Caleb Short. I only have the first name. And here's another piece was written by Philip, and I believe that's Caleb's brother. And his haiku reads, Elvis Presley sings rock and roll. The Mississippi River is a large river. It travels through seven states. Elvis Presley was born in Tupelo, Mississippi. The Mississippi River is a very long, wide, and deep river. Summers are always hot and sticky in Greenville, and that's Philip. Another piece about the river in Mississippi, the waters flow slowly and gently downstream. River birds are busy getting food for their babies. The Mississippi River has catfish that are big and fat. And another haiku reads, the pelicans have highways of their own. Our Mississippi River has millions of river birds that look like snow. Pelicans see fish at the top that they will get. And this was written by Michaela. And this is an acrostic. Muddy waters, our. Summers are hot and sticky, southward. Inland waterway, ski. Southern states, ice melts and water rises. Possum, opossum. Plastic, Ithaca, Minnesota. And another piece is the Mississippi River. Last week, my mom, my sister, and my aunt, and I went to New Orleans, Louisiana, because my uncle had to be at their, at their hospital. So we went to visit him. We saw the Mississippi River and the Gulf of Mexico. We were on the bridge and it was so long, a giant could fit. My uncle told everyone that the ambulance kept on bumping because his feet easily hurt. So my aunt stayed with him. And another piece about the Mississippi River, a river that extends from north to south, a river that provides transportation, food, and fun, a river of fish and silt, a river with barges and towboats, a river that travels through 10 states, a river that runs 2,325 miles. It has many, many more offerings unknown to man. And another summer, we did a unit on Ships Ahoy. And we also wrote haikus, acrostics, and diamantes. And this one reads, and it was written by Kiara. Caro, big, beautiful, exploding, caring, sinking, war boat, and civil war, strong, firing, and shooting, a wooden structure, boat. It's another piece written by Kiara. And it says, it's about Kiara. And she says, nice, smart, caring, loving, smiling, pretty, crazy, and cool. 
helping, funny, and silly, sometimes quiet, someone. And that's a diamante. And another piece. was written by Roosevelt, and it says, Cairo, old wooden, still floats and moves, long old gunboat, black and slow, a boat. And those are pieces written by students during a project held during the summer and I'm going to, I'd like to share one snippet from my book, Snippets of Truth. And it's Thoughts of Remembrance. Cannot remember your husband's name, where you parked the car, where you wanted to get, what you wanted to get when you walked into the kitchen. Relax. Scientists say such memory lapses are natural, especially as you get older. Adults remember little, if anything, that happened to them before the age of five. When we reach our 30s, we typically begin to experience a drop in memory. I'm neither five nor 30 and my memory is somewhat intact. With the help of someone close to me, we put together a few remember when anecdotes for my mom and dad for their 50th wedding anniversary. Now in this piece, the names have been changed to protect the innocent, and it reads, remember that prank on our parents? of a friendly abduction of Louise when she was taken to Uncle Hubbard's house in a burlap sack. How surprised Uncle Hubbard's family was when she stepped out of the sack and said hi. Well, remember when Carol followed Aunt Caroline home? That was a long walk. How did she go unnoticed? Remember when Pauline accidentally squeezed the baby chicks so tight that she destroyed them? She thought she was pampering rather than... Remember when Tom fed something to the cats? They were afraid to come near the house. Remember when we were working in the field and Tom and Jerry were told to stop counting the birds? daydreaming and would not and would and could not keep up with the crew remember when Janie the renowned seamstress learned how to sew like mama we all wanted her to make us a dress I found, I finally learned to sew when mama would not sew for me and remember when Earl drew football plays everywhere? He was only preparing for what he enjoys most, coaching football. He has made a productive career with that special ball. Remember when James would spend hours on the piano, playing, trying to learn a tune? preparing for his next in-house concert, featuring the rare talent of his younger sister. He would occasionally invite a couple of friends or relatives to jam with him. We will never forget that original tune called Shake It, co-written and produced by Josh and James, but never recorded. Mama and Daddy, how was the noise? Lastly, remember when the baby began to collect the beautiful semi-formal and formal dresses? That was how the many beauty 
and family. That was how the many beauty pageants our family hosted began. Those were the good old days and the beginning of another story. So the names in that story were um, not the actual stories, names. They were taken out to protect the innocent. So today, again, I want to sh I want to thank you for listening and watching. Continue to take care of you. Mask. Stay healthy. Pray for peace and justice for all. Continue to pray for my mother. I want to say happy July 12th to Miranda and her daddy, Judge Tyree. I love you all for watching and listening. I just love you. And Adrian, that is Kayla. That was Kayla that I mentioned. Your Kayla that you taught also. So thank you for listening and watching today. I love you. And hopefully I will see you on Monday. Have a happy weekend. And goodbye.